हेलो एंड वेलकम भास्कर नापते दिस साइड फ्रॉम फार्मा ग्रोथ हब एंड इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यू नो एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ गैस टोमेटोग्राफी पैरामीटर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू यूएसपी जनरल चैप्टर 621 सो एज पर जनरल चैप्टर 621 यू नो देयर आर सेवन डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स व्हिच कैन बी एडजस्टेड लेट अस बिगिन आवर टॉक विद वेरी फर्स्ट पैरामीटर and that is adjustment in stationary phase so the particle size and fill thickness of the stationary phase can be changed but you cannot change the uh, stationary phase uh, like you cannot replace the one stationary phase by another stationary phase so if you are using let us say 100% dimethyl polysiloxane as a stationary phase or db1 <clears throat> you cannot replace that stationary phase by 6% cyanopropyl phenyl and 94% uh, uh, dimethyl polysiloxane stationary phase so the replacement of one stationary phase by another is not permitted but you can certainly make some changes into the properties of the stationary phase so the first point is you can change the particle size you can also change the film thickness so as per as particle size is concerned the particle size can be reduced by around 50% but no increase in the particle size is permitted so let me explain you with the help of example in case if the particle size of your column is 0.2 micron so what is the allowable variation that is only minus 50 percentage of the 2 micron which becomes 0.1 micron so in case if your column's particle size is 0.2 micron you can decrease the particle size up to 0.1 micrometer remember there is no increase in particle size is permitted the second point is the film thickness so film thickness in case of capillary column can be reduced by minus 50% or can be increased by 100% so let me explain you with the help of example let us understand that the particle uh, sorry the film thickness of uh, your column is 0.25 micrometer the column name is db1 30 meter 0.32 mm 0.25 micrometer 0.25 micrometer is the film thickness so with this allowable variation of minus 50% you can go till 0.125 micrometer and for 100% increase in the film thickness you can go up to 0.50 micrometer so this is the range of the uh, thickness for the given column i mean you can make the changes into the film thickness uh, from 0.125 micrometer to 0.5 micrometer in case if the film thickness is 0.25 micrometer the next point adjustment in column dimensions so the length of the column can be changed by minus 70% to plus 100% so this is the column uh, given in the monograph 30 meter 0.32 mm 0.25 micrometer so the length of the column is 30 meter so calculate minus 70% and 100% so minus 70% of 30 meter becomes 9 mm 9 meter right and plus 100% becomes 60 meter so the column length if it is 30 meter then you can have the column from 9 meter to 60 meter and this change will be accepted according to usp general chapter 621 internal diameter plus or minus 50% so the internal diameter is 0.32 mm and if the internal diameter is 0.32 mm then calculate the minus 50% and plus 50% so minus 50% will become 0.16 mm and plus 50% will become 0.48 mm so this is the allowable range 
for the variation or adjustment in inner diameter. The third parameter is adjustment in column temperature. So column temperature can be adjusted by plus or minus 10%. It is not 10 degree, but 10%. Let us take an example of injector temperature. It is 200 degree Celsius. So minus 10% becomes 180 degrees celsius and plus 10 percent change will become 220 degrees celsius the next point is adjustment in temperature program so the ramp rate and the hold time both can be changed by the plus or minus 20 percent ramp rate is nothing but you are increasing the temperature with certain rate and let me explain you with the help of example let us assume that this is the column temperature program 40 degree celsius for 10 minutes and then 200 degree celsius uh, at 20 degree celsius minute and hold time for 15 minute that means after 40 degree celsius your temperature will start increasing until it reaches to 200 degrees celsius and what is the rate of increase in the temperature 20 degrees celsius per minute this is called as the ramp rate so calculate the minus 20 percent for the ramp rate so the minus 20 percent for 20 degrees celsius or 20 percent for 20 degrees celsius will be 4 degrees celsius per minute so the original rate is 20 degree minus 4 degree becomes 16 degree celsius per minute similarly calculate plus 20 plus 20 percent uh, increment rate and it is 20 plus 4 becomes 24 degree celsius per minute hold time so the original hold time is 15 minute and uh, calculate minus 20 percent and plus 20 percent so minus 20 percent will be 20 percentage of 15 minutes that is how much 3 minute so 15 minus 3 becomes 12 minute and similarly for plus 20 percent the uh, 15 plus 3 minutes become 18 minutes adjustment in flow rate 50 plus or minus 50 percent uh, is allowable as per as flow rate is concerned let us assume that the flow rate of your analytical method is 4 ml per minute. So minus 50% change becomes minus 2. So 4 minus 2 becomes 2 ml per minute. And plus 50% will become 4 plus 2 that is 6 ml per minute. So the flow rate from 2 ml to 6 ml will be acceptable. You can make the change from 2 ml to 6 ml. The next parameter is adjustment in injection volume and split ratio. So now this injection volume and uh, peak ratio can be changed. But a very important part is you must be able to meet the system suitability acceptance criteria. The second important point is when the injection volume is decreased or the split ratio is increased, a special attention is given to limit of detection and repeatability of the peak responses to be determined. So when you decrease the injection volume, your response is going to get increased. And if the response is get lowered, you must confirm that your limit of detection is not getting compromised. Because of the lower response, uh, the injection to injection variation also can get increased. So consider two important points, limit of detection and repeatability with the decreased injection volume. Similarly, in case if you are increasing the split ratio, for example, your original split ratio is 1 as to 10 and you have increased it to 1 as to 20. So it is increased by twice means you are actually allowing a half of the original sample quantity or the standard quantity on a column. Now this reduced quantity of the sample or standard is going to bring the reduced response and reduced response can compromise the limit of detection 
Similarly, the reduced response can also compromise the injection inj injection to injection variability or the repeatability of your analytical method. So whenever you are making change in injection volume or split ratio, always think of limit of detection and repeatability. An increase in injection volume or decrease in split ratio is permitted provided in particular linearity and resolution of the peaks to be determined remain satisfactory. Now when you increase the injection volume, the response is going to get increased, the detector may go out of the linearity range because of the saturation. So confirm that this increased injection volume is not compromising your detector's linearity. Now as the injection volume gets increased, your peak width will get increased and the re resolution can get decreased. So also confirm that the resolution is meeting your acceptance criteria with the increased injection volume. Similarly, by decrease in the split ratio, you are actually allowing more amount of sample and standard onto the column. This more amount of sample and standard onto the column will give more response. This more response can again compromise the detector's linearity or the resolution. So these two points are very important in case if you are increasing the injection volume or decreasing the split ratio. What, do, what are those two important points? The first point is confirm the detector's linearity and also confirm the repeatability. Seventh point is adjustment in injection port temperature and transfer line temperature during the static headspace. So the temperature can be changed by plus or minus 10 degrees Celsius provided no decomposition or condensation occurs. Now, if you decrease the temperature, there is a threat of condensation. If you increase the temperature, there can be a possibility of decomposition. So, if these two criteria are not, uh, I mean, if there is no decomposition, if there is no condensation, then you can certainly make the change in temperature by plus or minus 10 degrees Celsius. I am talking about the temperature of injection port and the transfer line. Now, very important note, whatever changes you want to propose, make sure that the above changes are acceptable provided the system suitability criteria are fulfilled. Without the meeting the system suitability criteria, I think you cannot make any change. Selectivity and illusion order of the specified impurities to be controlled are demonstrated to be equivalent. So there must not be a change in illusion order or specific uh, or the uh, selectivity of the interstate uh, peaks. So in case if these conditions are met, you are free to make changes into the gas chromatography parameters too. I hope you must have liked the content of this video and in case if you are looking forward for such kind of content, you can join the Pharma Growth Hub. Join the WhatsApp group of the Pharma Growth Hub and you will get all this content onto the WhatsApp group itself. There is a link uh, given in the description below. Click onto the link and join the group. Thank you so much.